stagnation spiritual slumps uh, I think a lot of a lot of it is well when I do mostly anything it's during a Sabbath or an Isbit and they're spaced enough where it's sort of new every time if that makes sense even though my bum's gone numb ow even though you're kind of doing the same thing year after year I have like notes that kind of remind me of what it's about and kind of different things to do and stuff like that you know if you've learned something new from like Maybon to Maybon you can incorporate that new thing so in a way it kind of keeps it fresh uh, there are times though when you feel like you know I don't feel like I should cast circle or call like the elements in the Lord and Lady for like no reason I feel like I have to have a reason <laughs> Because I don't want to like interrupt them, <laughs> you know. I am that person. Uh, so you do kind of go for maybe weeks, not doing anything. But I've sort of started, ow, every day lighting a bit of incense for the Lord and Lady, which is why I'm hoping to get to the Ren Fair so I can get the good incense that I like only get that time of the year. Because at least now I can have a good incense for that special thing, and not just sort of what I have on hand. <laughs> uh, so I do, but it's not the, how do I put this? I don't want to be stagnant and kind of get forgetful. I always have to have those constant reminders. And having my altar always with an eye shot, you know, lighting the incense now, and having sort of an active interaction, even if I'm not doing anything particular, kind of keeps it from being stagnant too. And then watching y'all videos too kind of, keeps things fresh and new ideas and always studying always researching always learning so I mean for me I'm that sort of hands-on micromanager analytical type person that has to have that instant stimulation as far as like the emotional type of like spiritual stuff I'm just not wired for that if that makes sense so it has to be all analytical even though I understand the purpose I'm spiritually analytically. <laughs> mm. So that's that's kind of how I kind of avoid or at least be consciously aware of kind of not getting in those like near the end of the my church era, I guess you could call, where it just became like going to a job. It was just out of habit. You were just expected to be there. So I was there physically, but my brain was going, you know, having fun times. <laughs> so, you know. And that's not something I want to do here. And since there are so many like variables and there's so many different ways of doing things and learning things and you know, it's going to be a lot harder, I think. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the only thing I can really think of. Because uh, I, I try to be like, I don't want to go too long without doing anything. and. You know, I'll, I'll always, like, you know, if I'm got to do something, kind of, you know, acknowledge the Lord and Lady, and, you know, this is my spot where it's like, okay, here's my day, and I'll just say, or I'll even just say, hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> it's, it's that weird kind of relationship. So, that is week 49. How do you avoid stagnation and spiritual slumps? Thank you for watching, and blessed be.